welcome back. Today we have a jam-packed episode today. We're gonna cruise on by my hometown in Tampa, Florida, where we're gonna check out Armature Works. Now, Armature Works used to be an old Tampa Electric Company streetcar storage center back in 1910. Up until recently, it reopened as a modern food mecca for the up and thriving Tampa Bay community. Today, I'm joined with my sister, Casey, her boyfriend, Ray, and of course, Mr. Ezra. By just looking around, it's easy to be overwhelmed by all the many options that they offer. Honestly, there's so many vendors to choose from, it's really hard to pick just one. You kind of have to come back, like, frequently. And every time you come back, there ends up being something brand new. But whatever the case is, definitely bring your appetite. Which is something I know Ezra is not short of. I think today's poison for us is going to be empanadas. And if you ask me, the Florida girl is my favorite. Think of a Cuban sandwich, which Tampa is known for, and an empanada. It's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> this place is massive. It's dog friendly and kid friendly. There's lots of games, events, and a lounge area to go sit by the river. These changes have been springing up lately, left and right. It's giving my hometown more of a character. And I kind of like it. Good job. Watch this, Ez. As per usual, in the dead heat of the summer in Florida, it feels like an infernal hell. Now as a dad, I definitely gotta worry about my son. Because it is so freaking hot out here, I think it's time for some splash pad time. Now from my dad's point of view, I'm gonna share some tips how to survive the summer heat. Ezra didn't really like the water pad, but we're gonna take a walk on the river walk. Maybe run into a popsicle place or something. First and foremost, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. To best prepare for hydration, you should be drinking since yesterday. Definitely find a way to rapidly cool. I suggest splash pads, pool areas, do an activity or something that will rapidly cool the body. Definitely wear some sunscreen. I don't go anywhere without lathering as we're up with some sunscreen, especially with his porcelain Water, skin. Allow for some recovery time. After being in the heat for a whole day, your body has gotten so worn out especially kids. So allow for some time to relax, rejuvenate, and rest. No doubt about it, Ezra definitely is getting exhausted. It was time to head on back to the armature works to see if we can cool down. Well, on the flip side of another day, it's Father's Day weekend, and we got a special guest in town. That's right, Cousin Aaron from London. Now, Aaron thought that today would be the best day to go to the beach. Luckily for Aaron, as we say here in Florida, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is Clearwater Beach, we came out for a little walk and a stroll, and it's just fantastic. <laughs> On today's excursion, Ezra and I are joined by Lawrence and Aaron. As Ezra gets older and he gets more comfortable with the water, that's a sign for me that we need to start getting him into swimming lessons. Because one thing you gotta realize when you're out in the ocean, there's the threat of rip currents. And it's important to know how to swim with currents. 
swimming against currents will make you really tired, thus making it more dangerous for drowning. But swimming alongside them is your best chance to get away. Shells? Is it you got shells? Is it pretty? Yes? Say shell. Shell. It was nice to see Ezra get some quality time with his grandpa Lawrence. We were definitely kicking off this Father's Day weekend the right way. On our next stop, we're gonna go visit Ezra's great grandparents and pay his great grandpa Sam a Father's Day visit. Look at this. Ezra. I got it. It's already on. Ezra. I got it. I got it. Here is the Ezra with a phone. Every time we bring Ezra around to see the great grandparents, they're always so impressed with how much Ezra grows. And Ezra sure does love to show off. Look at him, he's taking a picture. Wow, he's so smart. Who's your dog? What's his name? As we start winding down yeah. back home, we get back into our regular routine. What's so? Is that Sully? You give Sully a kiss? Oh, you love Sully. Sully? What are you doing? What are you doing? If I take a step back and look how things are, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Are you cleaning or playing? But I only had my father figures in my life to think. I'll take the latter. Don't drink it. I've been fortunate enough to experience so many wonderful influences from my many father figures in my life. Without them, I couldn't be shaped into the dad I am today. And on this Father's Day, all I can do is simply reflect and say thank you. And without Ezra, I wouldn't be the happiest dad I am today. Hey Mark. So, um, how does it feel like, um, you know, me being your grandson and all? Oh, I think it's great. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. I'm proud to see how you've grown and how good you've gotten at football. And it's just a great time to have a grandson like you. Special shout out from Dad Chief Chronicles to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Especially Happy Father's Day to the father figures in my life. In remembrance, remember Grandpa Rick, Grandpa Robert, Big Grandpa. Happy Father's Day to my dad, Matt Wiley, my stepdad, Dave Montgomery, and my stepdad, Chip Branham. Of course, of course my Grandpa Bill Pop Montgomery. Big happy Father's Day shout out to my father-in-law, Lawrence Steele, Grandpa Sammy, cheers mate, and of course the dad that I never had, Ala Reza Tayyab You guys are awesome. Happy Father's Day. And all the fathers out there, you know who you are. Happy Father's Day to you. This Dad Shift Chronicle is out.